Well, it's been about three months since I've done a Mailbag Monday video. Be honest with you, I really wasn't planning to do this one. For the last two or three weeks, I've been on a uh, working graveyard shift. Usually I work morning shift, so I had to get acclimated to working nights. So one night, I stayed up till about 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the morning. And if you don't know, there's not much to do 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the morning. But I got on eBay and I started looking. And I started buying more postcards. So, needless to say, I have enough postcards to do a good bit more Mailbag Monday videos. So, y'all keep an eye on them if you like these. So, this week I have a large envelope and four smaller envelopes. Let's open these up and uh, see what we got in them. So this first one comes to us from Mantua, Ohio. I've never heard of that area. Sounds kind of like an Indian name or something like that. I'm not sure. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, okay. This... Go ahead and take it out of the... This is the hotel that I stayed at right before I started my Natchez Trace journey. If you've been following my channel last uh, since uh, or end of May, beginning of June, I've been putting the videos out. I went down the Natchez Trace and stopped at all the little roadside stops and attractions and waysides and all that other stuff. This is the hotel that I stayed at prior to the trip. I stayed there overnight, then jumped on the Natchez Trace. Um, now it is a days in, I believe. But this is when it was called the Belmont Motor Hotel. And it's actually been renovated since then. And it was a really nice hotel room when I stayed there. Really nice. And uh, I was kind of shocked how clean and... I mean, they had hot breakfast and a hot dinner that was free every night. And, you know, hotel room was like less than 100 bucks. It was really surprising. Anyways, um, owned by a um, little mom and pop, but it's a, you know, franchise. But anyways, yeah, this is it before it became the uh, Days Inn. Uh, not much has changed. Um, this area here has been taken off. I think this part's still here. But this is gone from here over. It's gone. All the hotel rooms are back around, and I believe the pool was over here in the backside. But uh, not much has changed. I just thought that was kind of interesting. I found it online and uh, just kind of did some research and found out yep, that's the same hotel I stayed in. So it was kind of interesting, you know, a couple bucks and a little piece of history to go along with my uh, Natchez Trace journey. The next one comes to us from Forest, Virginia. It's a long envelope. Not a long product inside. Let's see what's in here. Whatever it is, they packaged it well and safe for me. Got some cardboard wrapped around it. If I can cut it without slicing my finger open. Yeah, no, I'm cutting towards myself. Bad practice. Shouldn't do that. Let's do it the right way. We'll go away from ourselves. That's the way you use a knife. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, it's funny. This is the same hotel we just looked at, but kind of an aerial view. You can see this is where that uh, postcard we just looked at is from. You can see the uh, entrance and everything. This side here, um, the partial, let's see if I can get, there we go. Use my this area right here right where am i pointing that that's gone this part is still here that's where the kitchen and dining room area is and you can get your breakfast and hot dinner things like that um i don't think this back piece of the hotel is there i don't think this little u-shape is there anymore and this side piece is a little bit different i think it's still there i don't i know there was one that went towards the road I can't remember if it was at an angle or not. My room was actually right about there where that little sidewalk piece 
comes in at. But yeah, I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, there's not a date on it. Uh, kind of tell you a little bit about it. It's kind of funny how they say tiled baths and um, you know, air conditioning and stuff like that. And how it's such a big thing back then. Now it's a place, if you don't have air conditioning, you're not going to stay there. But anyways, yeah, just kind of interesting. Kind of goes along with this one. You can see I had a little run going when I was just searching at night. What I found across, came across, thought it was interesting. Got a hold of them. Okay, this next one comes to us from Clarendon Hills, Illinois. Open carefully. I sure will. You know, if you know where Clarion Hills or Clarendon Hills is, let me know. Doesn't ring a bell. So this one will be a little bit careful as we can see. I think that's careful enough. And we're still gonna rip this package open. Need to sharpen that knife just a little bit. I haven't done it yet. Not sharpen it. I need to get a new one. Put a new blade on it. I've been saying that for a while now. One day I'll get to it. Don't like to cut you faster than a sharp knife sometimes. Okay, I don't know what that is. I guess it's just no. It's, yeah, I didn't order that, but I guess it's just a protector card. Anyways, what do we have here? Chattanooga, Tennessee. Highway seen going down the beautiful Lookout Mountain. In the distance is Chattanooga. Uh, this is from the 50s, possibly 60s. This is the road that takes you up towards um, Rock City and that. It's still two lanes. I can't think of the highway or the name of the road. I'll look it up and put it here at the bottom of the screen. But now, this is all pretty much grown up. These rocks are probably still here. They might be replaced with the, you know... Uh, modern day modern uh, metal guardrails and such i thought it was kind of cool i've never seen this postcard or this view and like i said this is from the 50s or 60s i thought it was kind of interesting go along with my chattanooga lookout mountain uh vast collection of postcards i have and uh actually might be going back there this christmas so look for some videos on that some different uh christmas videos from that area but anyways yeah, this is kind of interesting. Just the old, old, the way it looked back then. Now a lot has changed, like, like I said, except for the rocks. When I go back up there, I'm gonna look and see if those rocks are there. And uh, yeah, just kind of interesting. So this next one comes to us from Southington, Connecticut. That one made a good trip all the way across the United States from north to south. one in there let's see what this is looking at it it doesn't ring a bell let's turn around and look here let's get out of this package here lookout mountain courts atop lookout mountain six blocks west of rock city on georgia 157 follow highway 58 from chattanooga they had 26 units and free radios television dining room and electric heat so this actually came from a lookout camera and gift shop and tells you the road and everything i'm gonna i'm gonna put a screenshot up here and see show you what this is now i, I have no idea if this is still here so we're about to find out this is i don't think this is here it might still be here i'm gonna look um yeah, if I can find out where this is, I'll put a little uh, screenshot of Google Earth of what it is. Like I said, this is a postcard. I don't see a lot of and, and probably the first time I ever saw it. Um, a lot of these postcards I've been getting or I got on this last run, I've been very frugal with buying them. I'm not going to pay much over $5, $5 for them. Um, 
with shipping. You know, if it's something interesting, I'll pay a little bit up for it, but not too much. Um, one thing I started noticing, a lot of the Canadian sellers, some Canadian sellers are very uh, reasonable. I've gotten, actually got a couple of cards coming from Canada that it, with shipping and everything were, you know, 4 to $5. Well, as you can see here, I, I came across some from Canada that are 15 to $20. Now I know it costs the cost of living in Canada is pretty high with taxes and insurance and free health care and all that all, all all that good stuff. But this is ridiculous. Nobody in their right mind is going to pay fifteen twenty dollars when you can just scroll down thirty seconds later and find the same stuff for you know three quarters of the price. You know seventy five percent off what they ask them. So, anyways, this wasn't one of those cards, but as you can see, I just showed you some. Uh, examples of what I was talking about but yeah this is interesting I like the little motel roadside courts with the each little cabin type thing it's just kind of, kind of cool um never saw this car before that's that's why I had to get it add to the uh lookout mountain collection well the last envelope is the biggest one we're going to say the best for last do not bend do you think that's a postcard we're gonna find out. I think I know what it is. In fact, I'm pretty sure I know what it is. Let's just take a look here. Be kind of careful with this one because this is the first time I've ever seen something like this. If it's what I think it is. Kind of goes along with my fascination. If you've been watching the channel and you've been watching my mailbag money videos, you know one of my fascinations. I got a lot of postcards about this fascination. But, never saw many books about it. Let's see if I'm right. Oh, they packaged this one well. And I am right. This is a, I guess you could say a book, soft cover book. You could call it a magazine. I'm not sure. This is The Railroad Enthusiast, Summer and Autumn of 1974. And it's talking about the Chattanooga Lookout Mountain Incline Railway. I think I paid maybe six, seven dollars for this ship to my house. And it has pictures of the history of well, this is Boston, Massachusetts. Anyway, let's kind of go into here. It has the history and stuff of that Lookout Mountain, as well as some other mountain, uh, other railroads, as you can see here. There's some pictures of some railroads. Some other ones. Okay, so here it talks about the incline right there. It has a good bit of history and this is the old uh, narrow gauge railroad that went around Lookout Mountain. This is the current uh, incline 2, the one that everybody else rides. This is right here is actually incline 1. Um, I'm going to try to go, when I go back to Chattanooga, hopefully this, this Christmas, I'm trying to get back up there. Fingers crossed. I'm going to find there is relics still that you can easily access of Incline Railway 1. And if I do find those, I'm going to try to do a little video, maybe a short video of them. But anyways, um, there's a picture of the Incline Railway number 1, it looks like there. Yep, Incline 1. So, yeah, just kind of interesting is the history of the Incline Railway there in Chattanooga, as well as some other various railroads. I thought that was pretty cool. I never saw, never saw this online. I think I paid six or seven dollars, and as soon as I saw it, I didn't even, I didn't even question. It. I just went ahead and bought it. It was one of those, I'm gonna get it because I'll probably never see one of these again unless I come across it just randomly somewhere at a flea market or a garage sale or something. So, you know, 1974 pretty cool um 
I don't know the history of this magazine, this book, where it came from, how you got it. There's no barcodes or anything. It may have been, you know, like a members only thing. It may have been with something else. I really don't know. Um, I'm, I might try to do a little research and see where this came from. Yeah, even the uh, little seal there doesn't tell me much. So, anyways, just thought, like I said, I thought that was pretty cool, and I never didn't think I'd ever see it again. And it was at a really, really fair price, so I went ahead and jumped on it. That's gonna be a pretty nice collection to my uh, history books that I'm gathering as we go on vacation at different spots and things like that. I'm getting history books and starting to read a little bit more in history. I like history reading. So, anyways, I thought that was pretty cool. All right, so that's this week's Mailbag Monday, kind of the return of the Mailbag Monday for a little while. Um, like I said, I got enough postcards to probably do a month, maybe two months of openings. And then I'm going to start saving money back up for Christmas trips and Christmas presents and vacations and things like that. Anyways, kind of interesting. I got two different views of the old Belmont Motor Hotel. An old view of... Uh, Chattanooga Lookout Mountain that you don't see too often. One of the little old roadside motel cabins you don't see ever. A very, let's just say, rare, unique book on railroads and especially the Lookout Mountain Incline. I'm looking forward to riding that again. So, anyways. We'll see how this goes with uh, the return of the Mailbag Monday. If you like these videos, you ever been to any one of these places or stayed at those motel courts by chance, or you've ridden the Incline Railway, let me know in the comments section below what you liked about it, what you didn't like about it. Let me know what you like about the video. Let me know what you didn't like this video. Either way, leave me a comment in the comment section below. Give me a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, whatever you want to do. But anyways, appreciate y'all watching. We'll see you next time.